So I recently decided to buy a box of the viral Boldak ramen that has been circulating all over TikTok as of late. And apparently many people are claiming that this is some of the best spicy ramen ever, so I just had to try it. And I thought what better way to give these different flavors a taste test than dedicating a whole day to only eating Boldak ramen. Just a quick disclaimer before we start the video, I do not recommend you try this challenge at home because the sodium on these ramen packets is actually insane and it will put you well above the recommended sodium limit. But anyways, let's get right into this video. All right guys, so it is now breakfast time and I'm gonna go ahead and choose what flavor Baldak ramen I want for this meal. I'm overwhelmed. There's like a cheese one, carbonara, kimchi, curry. I really cannot believe I'm about to be eating spicy noodles for breakfast. This is like the worst way to start my day, but it's okay. I might go with this one. I feel like this is the classic one. I see most people use the pink pack one. Holy shit, the sodium. It has 1,330 milligrams of sodium. I'm definitely gonna be going over the recommended sodium limit for today, cause this is insane. I'm having like probably three of these. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do this one. It's really cute. Also, I would like to say that for today, I am strictly only eating the Boldeck ramen. However, I am allowing myself to put whatever toppings I want on it. It just has to be within the ramen bowl. Like I cannot have anything outside of the ramen bowl for food. Food. Since this is breakfast, I think I'm gonna add two eggs. So now I'm gonna go to the kitchen and make this. All right, let's go. Okay, so first I'm gonna boil this water. Oh, this shit is big. Damn, it doesn't even fit. for the moment of truth. I'm finally gonna be trying the carbonara flavored bulldog ramen. This smells so good by the way. It does look a little weird because of the eggs mixed in with it, but I think that's fine. Okay, let's see. Is this gonna change my life? Mm-hmm. It's spicy, but not too spicy. And I put the whole sauce packet, but also I do like spice. I really fuck with the flavor. Ooh. Okay, so a little update. It's been an hour since I had my first bowl of ramen and I'm feeling pretty good. My stomach is not hurting or anything, but I am craving something sweet. However, I can only eat ramen today. So what I'm gonna do is have an iced coffee because you know, that's a drink, it's not a food, so it doesn't count. And I also need some energy, but I'm a little bit scared what's gonna happen later on because I feel like spicy ramen and coffee is not a good combo. Like I'm afraid I'm gonna be fighting for my life on the toilet later today, but you know what? It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make that coffee right now. Okay guys, so it is lunchtime now. Let's see what flavor I'm gonna do. Honestly, I'm not that hungry right now, so I'm gonna see which flavor has the lowest calories and do that one. Okay, it looks like the kimchi flavored one is the lowest calories. It has 520 in there. Holy shit. Sorry, y'all. I looked at the sodium. It's even worse than the last one I had. It has 1,710 milligrams of sodium. Oh, sorry, I'm gagged. Wait, I need to double check. What is the limit for how much sodium I should have? Y'all, I'm not trying to get like fucking kidney stones or something from this. I'm a little bit concerned actually. I can't believe it. there's people who I saw do like a week of eating only instant ramen. I'm sorry, but like that's just not worth it for health reasons. Recommended sodium for the day. Yeah, uh, 2,300 milligrams per day is the recommended limit. I already had 1,330. I'm definitely not using the full packet for this. I know I definitely am not using the full spice packet, but I might not even use the full powdered packet either because I don't want to have that much sodium like that's insane but yeah anyways let's go make this <sighs> it has a bit of a smell to it I know it's kimchi flavored okay it's actually not bad I drained the ramen out and I'm gonna mix it with the sauce I'm gonna put a little bit of this kimchi oh what the hell okay sorry about that I'm gonna put some of these kimchi flakes okay and then like half of this Honestly, I think I did less than half, but that's for the better. I just don't want it to irritate my stomach before work. I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm literally putting it on a paper plate because I'm lazy. 
Look at that. Looks good. Looks tasty. Okay, let's give this a try. Also, I completely forgot that I wanted to add mixed veggies to this, but it's too late now. But I'm definitely gonna add veggies to my dinner because I just, I feel like I need something healthy in my system, something with actual nutrients. Look at that. Oh shit. Mmm, that's fucking good. It's still spicy, which I love. I probably should have added some more flavoring to it though, but it'll do. However, I will say my stomach is starting to feel a little gross. This is kind of dry. Oh, y'all don't judge. I'm gonna pour a little milk on here. Just a little bit to mix into it. I don't know, maybe this is a bad idea. I should have cooked it with it. I honestly do not do a lot. Okay, um, I ate majority of it. There's a little bit left, but I'm just so full. I don't want to eat these last little bits of noodles. Uh. Oh god. Not gonna lie, the spice is kind of hitting now. Why is it burning my tongue? Hold up, let me have some milk. I'm actually pretty happy that I didn't do the full packet of the sauce because I think it would have been too spicy for me because don't get me wrong I like spice but once it gets to a point where it's like too much I don't even enjoy the meal anymore and then it like really starts to burn my stomach like it doesn't feel good so I'm happy I only did half the packet but I definitely would say this one's more spicy than the carbonara flavor which makes sense I'm so bloated right now guys I'm happy y'all can't see because I'm wearing a hoodie but holy shit, ugh, I feel gross. I love how the kimchi noodles gave me a natural lip tint. Like, okay. So guys, I have to go to work soon. I just wanna say I'm very bloated right now. Thought of eating more spicy noodles just sounds so icky right now. But I'm gonna stick to it because I mean, we're almost done. It's like I have one more meal today and then I'm set. I'm already constipated, guys. I feel like my first time shitting after today is going to be so fiery and spicy and disgusting. <laughs> it's gonna be like dragon breath, but out my ass. I'm sorry for putting that picture in your mind, but I'm just telling y'all, it ain't gonna be pretty. I'm now trying to decide what flavor I'm gonna do for dinner because I just wanna have it pre planned because I'm gonna be home from work and I just don't want to think much. I think I want to do a cheesy flavor because I want something that's a little less spicy. So I'm either going to do, I guess, original cheese and then this one is quattro cheese. Just because I want to take it easier in my stomach, I think I'm going to do the original cheese one because I feel like this is going to be a little too much for me. Y'all want to know how much sodium is in this one? This is the highest one, I think. 1,920 milligrams of sodium. That is fucking insane, y'all. That is so bad. This one is uh, 1,440. Also still high as fuck, but definitely better. I just want to say, I know my channel, I normally try to do more like health-based videos. This is a little different. I don't think I ever want to do another challenge like this again. After this, I want to do a cleanse. I want to do a detox challenge or some shit. Anyways, I'm going to have this out for when I have to go make my dinner after work. I need a moment on the bed right now, guys. Oh, hell no. I'm just manifesting that I don't sharp myself at work. Anyways, I'm gonna go get ready for work. I'll see y'all after that and we can make our final meal of Baldeck ramen. Okay, so I'm back from work now and I'm genuinely starving, so I cannot wait to make this. I will say I'm very surprised by the lack of stomach issues I've been having today. I went to work and I was not gassy at all. I did not let out a single Toots. I also wasn't really having stomach pains. I'm just so surprised. I feel like this last one's gonna do it for me though. Like I've been constipated actually. I don't know if this is TMI, but actually like that's kind of on brand for me to be TMI. But I have not shit in I think almost three days now, which is not good, but it's happened before. Anyways, let's go make this. bowl look at it it looks so good and it's actually a decently well-balanced meal besides the radioactive spicy sauce that i put in it jesus this lighting tell me that doesn't look good and this is actually like kind of a well-balanced meal because we got tofu for protein noodles for carbs and you know the veggies let's give this cheesy flavor a little taste test look at the, the steam is coming out oh my god okay it's pretty good it honestly tastes 
about the same as the first one, the carbonara. This is spicy, but it's not like too spicy in my opinion. I like having the tofu and the veggies because it feels way more balanced. I basically finished the bowl. There's a little bit left, but not much. It's just, I'm full, honestly, and I kind of got tired of the spiciness. Like, I don't know. I've been having spicy noodles all damn day. I think you can understand. Although they were good. Okay, so honest review, right, on each flavor. So in the morning, I had the carbonara, then for lunch, I had kimchi, and then dinner was the cheesy one. I genuinely cannot recall a difference between the carbonara and the cheesy one. They both were like also on the same spice level. I was able to use the full sauce packet for both of them and I thought it was good. It was definitely spicy but you know I can tolerate spice and I enjoy it so I thought it was good. The kimchi, that one was the spiciest but I luckily only put half of the sauce packet in. But when I tell you I put half of the sauce packet in that thing and I'd honestly say it tasted a little bit more spicy than the other two with the full packet. In. Do with that information what you will. I'm definitely gonna need a break from these noodles though for like a week I think cuz now it's just I had too much. My stomach honestly feels good But I will definitely insert a clip after this if I do end up having any stomach issues within like the next 12 hours But thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Anyways, bye guys. I'll see you next time